Um, my name is Ross Vaughn. I'm 22 years old. I uh, lived in Pendleton my whole life and just recently moved here. And I just graduated college for business administration from Ivy Tech. Um, I just got married and I love sports and card games and I just like to learn new things. Um, I just recently started coming to Life Church about a couple weeks ago. I've watched it with my wife on and on because this whole COVID thing, we would have been here earlier. From a young age, I went to church with my grandparents. My uncle's a pastor, and I've really n never known my life without Jesus in it. When I was four or five years old, I had a grandma seizure for about an hour, and I ended up having epilepsy, and that was really hard because the medicine just made me quiet, very unathletic, not, I couldn't take things in well because my neurological system and everything was just pretty much down. And uh, finally at the age of 10, I got better and healthier, hurt my back playing sports and I, they, I fractured my back and they found out I had degenerative disc disease and that was kind of a huge roadblock that hit me hard because I just don't, they didn't understand why this kept happening to me and why I can't just be a normal kid like everybody else. Um, my grandparents and my uncle uh, were huge influences on me to follow Jesus. They always took me to church, always made sure we prayed before uh, dinner. Um, they always made sure I knew who God was, knew the Bible. Um, but the big influencer that's been on me lately is my mother-in-law. I've never seen anybody like her worship God or live for God or live through God. It just really, truly inspiration on who I want to be with when it comes to serving the Lord. I, I wanted to be baptized when I was in seventh grade, and things just happened, and it, it never happened. But I'm glad that I didn't, because even though I felt like I was saved then, I definitely feel like I'm ready now, and I'm ready to live for God. He's shown me that He's there, and He shows me who He is, and. Uh, like I, I've said a couple of times, I've been through rough times in my life and he's been there. And you think that not everything's gonna be good, but the rain will go away and he shows you that. And I think he puts you through things to help you with your wisdom. And um, I think since I've seen that, and I've had some experience, I can help other people and um, tell his word and show how he was there for me and other people in my life and I think that's where it's changed me and I want to be an inspiration and uh, give some people the intellect that I feel like I've had and um, I think it could help a lot of people and I think how after my baptism I think that's where I'm really going to start my walk and, and tell and talk about God to people more often to show them that there's always, there's always hope and there's always the Lord. My name is Ross, and I'm getting baptized today. So as Ross said, he's only been here about maybe five or six weeks, and the first Sunday that he was here, we actually played our baptism video, and during that time, the Holy Spirit just really talked to him and said, you know what you want to do at 13 years old, it's time to do it now. And so I just really, that was just a God-ordained moment. And I just love that, how he worked um, in Ross's life of that day. And he is newly married um, to his wife, Sam. And so I'm just excited, Ross, that you are making that decision today and that you're just going to be able to um, continue to pursue God as you're leading your wife and your family to come, hopefully, and um, that you just continue to seek him and and you know that he's walking with you and that you just continue to honor him. So today you are proclaiming that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. And I'm going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> 